did you get involved in the Kings of Summer? The Kings of Summer was, uh, the, the script was sent to me while I was shooting another film, and uh, I didn't get to uh, audition in front of Jordan, our director, or a writer, or anything like that. I just sent tapes in. And uh, I guess they liked my first tape and asked for me to do a callback and do it three different ways. So it was the longest process in terms of um, just the, the auditioning. It was like a 15 minute audition, uh, which is incredibly hard to, to, um, to do when the person opposed to you is laughing. So we had to do many, many takes. Uh, yeah, the audition process was normal for me. You know, I read the script, I fell in love with it immediately. Chris, the writer, did an amazing job of like, you know, really capturing what it's like to be in that pubescent limbo of, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like not being able to really uh, be an adult, but not being, you know, wanting to be, but not being considered one. And he did a really, really good job of that. I fell in love with it immediately. You know, like rarely do I read scripts and laugh out loud, and, and this one was hilarious. Um, and, and then I just auditioned for it, and, and then I met this guy a couple weeks later uh, for the chemistry read, and then like a week later, maybe, they said, we'll see you in Ohio, and that's when I ventured off. Um, yeah, no exciting story, unfortunately. It was just a regular audition, but uh, I was sent the script, and, and I, too, fell in love with it. It's kind of, it's hard not to. It was uh, Chris, did, uh, Chris Galetta did an amazing job. Just, uh, he has such a unique voice, and it just it felt very, very, very fresh, I guess, uh, when you know a coming of age story has been done so many times, and uh, I went in just just trying to do the script justice, uh, tried to kind of capture that uh, you know, that 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 pubescent limbo or pre pubescent lim limbo, um, and apparently it worked. So I, I came back with the the callback, did did some chemistry reads with um, some other cast members, and then uh, yeah, I said I said all right, see you in Ohio. <laughs> Um, what's one thing you learned from Nick Offerman, Megan Mullally, and Allison Brie while you were shooting the film? Um, well, I, I say this, but it's true. I learned I will never be as much of a man as Nick Offerman. Uh, and um, he's, he's a professional. He's a pro. He's one of the nicest people I've ever met, one of the funniest I've ever met or worked with. And uh, he... Um, he, he taught me to, to step my game up as far as, you know, improv and all that. When you're working with such talented people, it kind of forces you to, uh, you know, think a little bit faster, be a little smarter, you know, be a little quicker on your feet, and uh, it was very fun. Um, God, I, I didn't really learn, like, anything directly from them. I, I, I observed them a lot, like, in a scene and just really appreciated how, how quick and smart they were. You know, y you see improv in, in movies in, in the clip lasts a good two or three seconds, but it, the take is like, f at least for this, was 15, 20 minutes long. You know, that dinner scene where I'm eating, um, I, I consumed eight or 10 burgers in the time that it, it took them to like say everything. And, and it was just hilarious. Uh, everything they said was hilarious, you know, and there was no dead jokes. Like everyone behind the camera was cracking up. And, and I just appreciated like how much it takes and how how much ability you have to have to be able to make everyone laugh for 15 to 20 minutes, you know, with everything you say, it was awesome. Cool.